Hey guys, um, in today's video we are doing something really fun that you could probably honestly tell by the title already, so I always feel super weird. <laughs> Don't really know what to say. Okay, anyways, so as the title would suggest, I am doing a video where I follow somebody else's DIY project video, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, I thought of this uh, a few months ago, and I thought that I was a genius because I hadn't seen it anywhere on YouTube yet. I thought that I was the first one that had thought of it. Turns out I wasn't. Um, there is one other YouTuber that I was able to find on here. Um, to me, it seems like she's the only other person that's done it. I cannot remember her name off the top of my head, but it will be in the description box down below and I will like link to her channel or something. Um, but when I searched, she was the literally the only person that I found that had done this already. Now, she did do it two years ago. <laughs> And so I'm a little late to the game, so props to her for having this really cool idea. Um, you see the whole, I mean, it's come and gone, but the whole following somebody else's makeup tutorial challenge and um, kind of stepped out of that world. So I thought I would step into the DIY world for this one. I took a long time finding what video I wanted to follow along to. And that was mainly because I wanted a DIY project that I would actually like into that I would actually like in my home. I see a lot of DIY projects and they are kind of um cheap and I'm not trying to dog on anybody. Um or they're kind of like life hack DIY videos or you know dollar store decor which just really matters on what type of dollar store you have around you or maybe they just were not my personal style so I really took my time to find something that I actually wanted to make and um, I finally found one now her video is going to be linked down below but she made this two years ago and called it like a uh, tumblr room DIY ideas or something like that uh, like I said, it will be linked down below. And uh, I just absolutely liked her aesthetic and kind of her vibe. At least it uh, kind of matches my vibe now, which is a lot of greenery, a lot of like kind of like muted, calming colors. I could not find a lot of the same exact things that she found just because it was two years ago. Um, so I found things similar that I still liked. And I'm going to link everything that I use down below because at least it is relevant to today's time. Um, however, I'm just going to kind of like link, you know, list down below what exactly you would need for this DIY in case it turns out that you like it too and you want to recreate it. So what I ended up getting was this um, like terrarium little thing that you could hang. So it had glass in it with one open pane um, and I broke out all of that glass. So. I will say, <laughs> safety first. So secondly, I didn't buy the big spool of chain that she bought. Um, I was feeling cheap because it was really expensive. It was on sale on Hobby Lobby's website, but not in the store. And I just didn't really feel like taking it up there and them saying it's not on sale. You know the drill. Um, so I ended up actually buying like a necklace. It was in the same area, so it's all in the jewelry area. And um, I just bought like a necklace and I thought it was a pretty good length. I actually ended up taking off some of the, the chains on it. Um, just to make it the right height for my ceiling and where I wanted to place it. Uh, and then I also spray painted it so it would match the pendant that I had. So from there, um, after I had spray painted the chain and took the glass out, it, which was actually really easy, again, don't recommend, but be safe if you're going to do it, I then started to assemble. So, um, kind of rough uh, getting the lights how I wanted them. I with hers and her video, 
it was really easy because the bottom of her pendant had a lot more um, wires so she just like shoved the lights in there and then was able to stick the battery pack on and it worked really well for her and then she you know she put the floral arrangement around it um, me not so much so since mine was you know less wiry and kind of more spread out it just didn't really work that way so keep that in mind if you want to do this project as well or something similar um, but after, you know, some logic and thinking about it and working my way through it, I ended up just kind of like wrapping the lights around it in a way where it was on the top half of it. So then the last part of it, after sticking that battery pack onto the bottom of it towards the back, I guess it didn't really matter when I went to hang it, but you know, regardless, um, I ended up cutting the, you know, fake greenery from the stem and just looped it through and I wanted it full enough that it really truly did hide that battery pack. It was really nice because the battery pack was clear so it didn't really stand out too much. There are batteries inside of it but those kind of you know stay hidden as well. I ended up taking off some of the chain and it was really nice because the pendant that I had which is not the same as hers was, I had a little loop so I was able to open up the clasps and then close it around the loop again. Her, she kind of like um, hooked through so she she didn't she tied it but she really didn't need to and then she hung it that way and then just from there it was hanging it and she called them monkey hooks don't really know if that's like the technical name but they're like the little loop-de-loop -loop thingy <laughs> it's like a hook and um, I ended up just going around various places in my house thank you for my boyfriend trying to help don't feel my butt Doesn't that look good? What do you think? Why is it so blurry? Oh. <laughs> Hit the little button on the front like you would take a picture until it focuses. <laughs> Not blurry anymore? No. Do you think it looks good here? Mm hmm. Do you think you're going to wake up and hit it with your head? Mm. Should I make the chain shorter? I don't know how to do that. Hit the red button. <laughs> the red button on the back, right above the screen. He did great. That was his first time filming for me. <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> so once I got it hung up, this is what it ended up looking like. All in all, this is probably honestly one of the best DIYs that I have ever done. It's so cute. It is just totally my style. It gives a nice little aesthetic to the room. Um, you know, not a lot of light. It's just, it is so perfect and I want to thank her for coming up with this idea because it is genius and I'm so glad that I ended up finding it. I'm absolutely obsessed with this and I'll probably like end up making more or something because I could just see them in like every room of my house. Um, it'll probably be a little bit of overkill but they make me happy so that's totally okay and um, that was everything. So all in all a very successful DIY and a very successful video. So super happy. Um, if you, again, liked this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below about some DIYs that you would like to see or just any videos in general. Um, as I said, the original video is linked down below that I follow the DIY and then the original thinker of the following a YouTuber's DIY project is down below too. So go ahead and check those videos out and give them some love and support as well. And um, all of my social medias are down below. Oh my gosh, there's so much down there. You should just go read it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.